Good evening, everybody. A postal worker is in the hospital this evening, the victim of an attack by two pit bulls. It occurred in Norwich and could have been much worse if it not for a good Samaritan who mm. grabbed a hammer and swung into action. News Channel's Bob Wilson live in Norwich where he spoke with the good Samaritan and the dog's owner. And he has exclusive video of the dog seized by police. Bob. I tell you, this story is hard to believe. The way it was described to me by witnesses was the letter carrier was walking down the road, he heard something, turned around, and a pit bull grabbed onto his bag, and he went to set the bag down, and that's when the other pit bull jumped up and grabbed him by the neck, then the other one turned and grabbed him by the leg, and they were just biting and chewing on him until a good Samaritan heard him screaming and came running to his help. Now take a look. These right here are the dogs in that attack. These are the two pit bulls seized by police after attacking a letter carrier on this front porch in Norwich. A carpenter says he heard the screams and came running with his hammer. They were very young, but they were very aggressive. And, I mean, they were really going after him. I mean, that poor guy, they had him, and, and I, if he'd have went down again, I mean, they tore the back of his neck up, and they tore his thigh and uh, his forearm. David Holland owns the dogs and says they got loose through a back fence, and neighbors should have told him they were loose. Why she ain't come like reported to me and call the police like they usually do? It's so it's sad. Right? So the police have been they called the police before? Huh? <laughs> yeah, they call the police on me all the time. He is laughing and joking, looking across the street at a yard smeared with blood. Police say they have been called to the house 28 times for a variety of reasons. The history extends past the two dogs to their parents. Investigators say the dog's parents were put down after a vicious attack on a Meals on Wheels driver. What do you say about the dogs? Funny. They was protecting this house. I came out from a mailman. Yeah, I came outside. He was hitting him in the head with the um, the chair. Witnesses say the postman was across the street at a neighbor's house, trying to get the chair between him and the dogs. Police say they have arrested Holland and charged him with a dog attack, but there could be more serious charges coming, including a possible felony because of the history. Do you feel bad that it got the mailman? Of course, I feel question. bad. Who would have felt bad? So grown man, like, you see the way he was screaming, you would feel bad. You're kind of smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling because you're pissing me the <laughs> up with The mailman has 22 puncture wounds, and witnesses say it would have been a lot worse if Wright had not chased them off with a hammer. They, instead of the back of his throat, if they got in the front of his throat, he'd be dead. Now, the letter carrier is in serious condition at the hospital. We're told he has broken bones as well as 22 puncture wounds, and they're saying he'll be kept overnight, he'll have to go into surgery. It'll be a long time before it gets out of the hospital. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Norwich, News Channel 8.